Hello everyone, Joshua Hatton with Single Cask Nation and I'm doing another whiskey review of our second release of retail bottlings. Uh, hopefully you've had a chance to look at our Cambus 28 year old, the single grain scotch whiskey, the Muscatel uh, Barrique Sherry Cask finished whiskey. Today's whiskey is, uh, is a bit different. We're back to single malt. And where is it? There we go. And this time it is our Milton Duff nine year old. Now, some people are familiar with Milton Duff, some people are not. You may have heard of the brand called Moss Towie. Uh, this distillery does have a whiskey that's called M Moss Towie, and I don't think it's available in the US. Or if it is, I, if it is I've never seen it personally, um, though I have seen it elsewhere abroad, if you will. Um, this distillery is owned by Pernod Ricard, and so Pernod Ricard, their, their number one blend would be the, the Chivas blend. Um, so this is going to be a component of that blend and, and sure uh, to be in some other blends as well. Um, the distillery itself puts out about 6 million liters of spirit per year almost all of that to blend, which is kind of sad because the the spirit itself as a single malt is absolutely beautiful. But you can see why they would want to use really good single malt to go into blends. They, you know, these producers who are looking to make good blends need good components. If you have crap components, you've got a crap blend. So why not why not put in what you think is the best? And this is why, you know, brands like, or companies like Diageo and Bacardi and Pernod Ricard and so on and so forth, they purchase distilleries is because they need that, the whiskey or spirit that those distilleries produce to go into what is their money makers, their blends. But it's nice to see some of these out in, um, in independent bottling. So anytime you see Milton Duff, it's going to be through an independent bottler. Whether it's us, Single Cast Nation, uh, Gordon McPhail, Exclusive Malts, Sansabar, you know, you name it, the list goes on and on. Um, this one's a nine-year-old. Now, I, one thing that I want to point out... There are the details, and I apologize. This uh, this label has seen some wear and tear. Um, it says it's nine years in a refill bourbon barrel, and that's me being uh, a little overzealous with my copy and paste skills. Uh, this is actually from a first fill bourbon barrel. Uh, what is correct is the ABV, fifty-eight point five percent alcohol, two hundred and thirty-four bottles from this cask. And, um, you know, I remember receiving a really nice note from our bottler uh, who, who, when he received the cask uh, to his bottling hall slash warehouse, he thought, why are these guys bottling nine-year-old Milton Duff? Milton Duff, nine years old, doesn't make sense. Uh, and, of course, he, he likes to try everything that he bottles, and he was, he was blown away. And he sent a little personal note saying that this is perhaps one of the best Milton Duffs that he's ever had. And, uh, and I know him, and I know a lot of the whiskeys he had, he's had, and uh, so that, that was quite the unsolicited, unsolicited compliment. But let's, let's talk about the flavors, the scent and the flavors. <sighs> Lots of rich spice on this one. I mean, you've got cinnamon you've got nutmeg you've got there's apple pie in this so imagine all of those delicious brown spices that you use to help make apple pie think of the buttered crust that's in here a little bit of a zestiness here maybe like a orange uh, not orange like a, a lime a lime zest or, or a lemon skin zest something like that but overall, there's a there's a warmth to this. This this smells dessert like. There's a slight ashiness to it, which is interesting because, you know, for the most part, um, 
Milton Duff does not do, they, they don't use peated barley at all. It's, it's all unpeated barley. So there may be some, uh, some wood influence, like wood char influence on there, creating a, a little bit of an ashiness or a little bit of a smoke. Or it could be that when this cask was recoupered, um, they used some staves that that um, were from a peated cask, something like that, uh, to do a little bit of influence on there. All right, let's go ahead. Let's give it a taste. Really rich. It's interesting. It starts off kind of waxy, but you know, when I think of waxy, I think of something that's that's incredibly mouth coating, tongue coating. If you've had Klein Leash before, or Brora before, um, that's something that you'd experience. I've had it in some Dallas Dews as well. But what started off waxy became more oily, and the liquid just kind of rolled around the tongue, which is quite nice. Some exotic spices, garam masala, toasted cumin. Just a, a hint of cardamom in the distance, which is really nice. The maltiness. Now, here's where you can see why Pernod Ricard would want to use this. That nice, rich, malty quality to come through to help make their blend, which is probably a, a bit more grain based than it is malt based but if you use a uh, sort of a malt heavy um, whiskey in there it'll help to kind of I wouldn't say mask the grain but to give that that blend a bit more of a presence if you will mm. some of that apple comes through again oh wow lemon pinwheels that's where you Cut lemons up into little discs, soak them in simple syrup for 24 hours, let them dry a little bit, and then put them on the grill. Amazing. That's that. All right. Some of that smoke starts to come back in the in the finish, and again, Milton Duff is not a is not a peated whiskey, it's not a smoky whiskey, but something's coming through to bring that in, which, in my opinion, just helps to balance out that sweetness, that maltiness. Some of that I'm getting some spice as well, so it's a bit of an all rounder here. You're getting the sweet, the smoky, the spicy. It's really nice. Some lemon candies in there, almost like a lemon lifesaver, something like that. <sighs> really nice. Yeah, I, you know, when, when Jason and I bottled release number two uh, in this assortment, uh, we had our Canvas 28, this this Milton Duff, um, you know, we had a Tormor 21, which was a California exclusive. Uh, we had a rum and a few others, and, and this was and remains my favorite from the batch. Uh, part of it is because I've got an incredibly, incredibly soft spot for Milton Duff, but I just love, 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 love this whiskey. So hopefully you've enjoyed this review. This whiskey is still on shelves, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Illinois, uh, California. Um, it's a nine-year-old. It should be less than $100 on the shelf. So, uh, so good price out there. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this has helped. Cheers.